All right, guys, thank you for watching this uh, tutorial videos. And this video is going to teach you how to add your own ROMs or games into this Retro Pocket 5 through the ASDS emulators front end, okay? First of all, find a card, whatever the TF card you have, and make sure there's not any important data into inside of that and make sure because probably they're going to form it or, or, or remove your data so make sure your data's in the safe place first of all insert into this slot press and then this retro pocket 5 is going to recognize this ssd card then we go for the esds press it all right this is the process going to, you know, uh, to recognize the card and make everything set done. All right, first of all, begin setup. All right, already granted. And now let's select the directory, you know, press this one, go for the three desk and go for the disk. All right, because it's new card, there's no room. Uh, I mean, the game uh, folder is called ESDS. You need to create by yourself, all right? Actually, ES. Okay, and go for the dash and the DS, okay, done. All right, then use this folder, allow. All right, second of all, you're going to select the directory of the rooms, okay? Select the directory, make sure you're selecting from your TF car. And uh, there's a one called rooms. If you don't have it, you can create by yourself. Rooms, use this folder, allow. All right, here comes a very important part because you don't have those, you know, ESDS directory or the rooms directory. You have to create them, all right? Create them, I understand. Then the ESDS is going to create all the folders, everything inside of this TF card. But now you see you don't have any rooms. Now for the second part, we are going to add the game into the specific files to make sure the ESDS is going to scan in them and uh, which make the rooms uh, recognizable, okay? Okay, after you have done that and come to your personal computer, then take your come out. All right, find a TF card readers. Well, you definitely gotta find that one. And then you insert into your computer. You will find out your card has been automatically create many, you know, the folders, like the important one is ES-DS, okay? This is the files they created by themselves, by the system. All right, this is going to, you know, to save your setting, seam, everything. And the important one is the rooms here, all right? You can see all the current retro game system has been created, the folders, by the name of the system, all right? So now, easily, and you find your game rooms, for example, and yes, okay? You copy that. This is the copy, right? Copy. And after copy, you located a specific file's name called the NES. All right, this is the readable actually. You can find out like this one is NDS, but we are going to looking for the NES here. All right, then you paste it. Okay, then next one we have something else like GB1. Copy. Then go find your rooms folders called a GB, which means Game Boy, right? GB over here and uh, paste them here. And the next one we have a GBC as well. GBC here, copy this row. All right, copy that and paste them. All right. So after all of that, you reject your TF card out of your computer. And then the next part is going to witness the miracle things. All right. Then you insert this TF card again back to the slot over here. Then the ESDS is going to be automatically scanning the TF cards, which you have already in pre installed. This NES, like this one. Okay, and yes, Game Boy, Game Boy GBC, okay. All right, so this system now you can see it is just only have three because the system already only located the three type of the game folder. But if you have anything more, they're gonna be automatically appear in this column. All right, so if you have any problem, please just instantly contact our customer service, okay? Thank you very much for watching.